Okay, right now we are running Model Maker and I've got uh, a model that I'm running here. There's 21 points in this model and then I believe there's an additional four points in the uh, before this, before we started running the model. So we're coming to the end of this, 21 points, and uh, let's see what this is uh, looking like. So we've got our uh, 21 stars, polar alignment uh, 16, within 16 arc seconds of the pole. Let's see what we also got in here. Uh, RMS of uh, 7.7. Uh, very pleased with this, uh, with the uh, polar alignment. It is uh, this type. We're going to be able to be able to take some very long uh, duration images. Um, Got just two more stars to go. Let me see what it looks like now. So we've got 22 stars in polar alignment, a point, well, seven uh, arc seconds is what it's estimating right now, which is very good. And we just got two stars, two more points in the model to go to, so. Point here, 24 stars in the model, polar alignment error, 6 arc seconds. Let's see what that RMS looks like. RMS is 5.2. Normally, what you've got to do is you've got to get all the points in, and you've got to get points on all around, including the center. And then finally you get a uh, kind of a reliable uh, RMS function. We got a second, seven second exposure. It's running it right now. We're processing it. And let's see what we get. So we've got 5.22 RMS in our model at 26 points. Let's come back and look at the data again. See what our final uh, polar alignment area is. So, uh, right now it's showing here that we're uh, eight arc seconds off of the North Pole on a with the RMS of 5.2 and uh, haven't deleted any points in the stop model, but. I would really like to have uh, you know, the full uh, 25 points modeling the sky. So uh, outstanding, and uh, we're looking forward to running some uh, long duration images tonight. And with a polar alignment like that, we are in business.